Hiya, peeps. How you doing? Welcome to our Thursday. Welcome to the new Thursday. Hope you guys weren't catching up, catching around with that other stuff. We're here. We're live. This is experimental. Um, yeah. Um, we're trying to do it like in different ways. We haven't exactly decided how the hell it is we're going to do this. Um, uh, a tech talk is a weird way of doing a live show. Um, we're working this. Bear with us. Uh, we're still bringing you the Wednesday show, and as you noticed, if you watched yesterday, yesterday's show was pre-recorded, but that's probably going to be the way it is, and we're probably going to like do this layout a little differently too again. Um, but right now, obviously, the tech talks are live. Uh, again, I don't know how long it'll stay this way. It's not what you would call ideal, but it is what we're working with now. Um, you guys, uh, how you guys been during the week? I got some news from OAE, just OAE's updated me, finally responded, he's doing okay, all of his plans are stable, like, like, it. um, you know, just, he, he's good, he's living, um, he's been peeping in, just hasn't been here, uh, so, like, in case y'all were questioning, like, I, I don't know, anything, really, he's, he's been doing good, um, who knows, might make an appearance or two, um. Uh, yeah, anyway, so kind of that's where we're at. I Again, I I don't know if we'll stick with how we're doing it right now. Um, bear with us. We're in flux because we're working this. Um, tech talks are kind of like, I never really foresaw them as being live, but this is a good step, I think, because, again, I want more shows. We all want more shows on the channel. Um, <laughs> I mean, why not? I also like to try to get more people involved in them as well. I mean, it's not just a matter of having the shows uh, made by us all the time. Um, you don't want it like a ramble show, but I kind of want like a... It's like Papercraft Weekly was kind of supposed to be like... It's a flagship, and we kind of don't mind rants just because like we're human. We do some real stuff. It's not all about paper planes. You come to our channel majorly for that because, I mean, that's what we do, and there's not too many of them like it. However, um, again... Life is real, real life, you know, crap like that. So you may want something other than planes. So, I mean, actually the rants <laughs> that we, you know, typically get on. Uh, I, I, I've thought about it and was like, hey, it might not be a bad idea. But anyway, anyway, I digress because we're still in the tech. And this is a tech talk and let's get into it. Um, this week, I was actually going to refer to something like this. I was thinking about like... Ironically enough, we don't have a name for this. <laughs> I was looking back through it. I've got the tech sheet right up here. Um, one of these things i got to do is share this with you guys one of these times. I haven't done, I don't think, I, have I plugged that in or not? I don't even know if it's a bloody plug-in. Um, but, like, one again, one of the things you can do, and this is a, a total, like, something you're going to have in place of our winglets or anhedrals, and these are winglets of a sort, but something like a, a regular real plane you'll never see on, but paper airplanes is perfectly capable of, is having these little winglets that are kind of where they would be if you had dual fins, but the dual fins are usually near the base. So these come in, obviously they're back set, the wings or whatnot, and they're different, and I just noticed that there's a line there no. Oh, it's a line. Okay, it's a line off the sheet, so it's a pen line. Okay. Anyway, um, so it's kind of like having the tails, and with this, it eliminates the need for having a winglet out here, so it leaves it all, it's more clean, as you can see. You've seen this plane fly, actually. This plane has flown. Uh, there's a video of it out, and variations of the same theme. It works really well, and ironically, it works really well considering that any normal time you would have, this is a variation of Wyvern, any normal time you would have this plane, the winglets would be, the anhedrals would be a lot bigger than this, and in this case, they're really small, and yet almost do the exact same job. So, we come up with a name for this, y'all be the first to know, it's got to be a cutesy acronym. Um, but, any way you want to cut them into the wing, uh, you go right ahead. It's basically keeping it small, it's basically keeping it somewhere in the dead center. So if you cut it from the inside, 
and then fold it out, or you cut it from the outside and fold it in. Uh, there's stress involved with these folds, so when you think on when you build it and you think on how it's going to come out, you have to consider like how much um, this one has a little bit of a slant to it, right? So I'm thinking any stresses that come from the air forming through like this, and then anything that would okay, you're obviously going to have your your cylinder, cylinder, I call it cylinder, but the spiraling air that comes off the wing and produces drag has, has a form off this side, but then off this side as well, so it's two form. But then this one's going to cause something that, you know, as the air comes through here and channels, it's going to catch these. That's what stabilizes it, and bigger may not necessarily be better because the bigger they are, the more drag they can cause in some kind of design like this. Hence why they probably work so well. Obviously, with the hole there, there's a little bit of air spill so as it comes through, it comes out. Uh, the form of that may or may not actually have any bearing on how stable the plane remains. Obviously, like I, I've illustrated, this one, it's really straight. Okay, I cannot illustrate to you how straight this thing can go. Um, it's not, it's still a little bit nose down, and I attribute that, of course, to the slant that it has in the fuselage. And slanted fuselage are a tech, but that's so simple. <laughs> I didn't want to keep it that simple. It could have a bearing, again, on how it works, just because you're dealing with, like, a, a fuselage in the rudder area that's about triple the size of what the winglets are. Um, you could call these straightlets, basically, I think. Straightlets are something that exist on real planes, and not too many of them have them, and I believe they're typically add-ons. This is kind of a build-in, but straightlets seem to work. I, I, I kind of like that terminology for what these are. And I'm very well myself. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to call them that. Uh, and they're easy to build onto any plane. And I highly recommend that if you're going to install them in your plane, A, you start out small, and B, don't put your, if you have them, winglets slash anhedrals as we like to call them, don't put them on board. Try it without it first. See if you get a full wing. See if you get a full response. Because while they can be added on, it's a little bit trickier when they're added on since when you're cutting, once you cut, obviously when you make the cut, you cut when the plane's like this, so they're going to be straight down whatever axes you choose. And as you can see, these these really are, they're like pretty straight. And when they're small like this, they're also not, they're not so influenced by different folds, so you don't need to firm them up with something else. You know, you don't need to like tape them, you don't need to like worry about that they're going to flop in the wind because they're like as deep as, say that rudder was, if I made them like fins, they'd be that deep. And I, I, there's there's a level I would consider it a fin versus a strake. Obviously, something like this. This is small. This is a strake. This is only... Uh, there's so many variants, way, various ways of the variants you could build these on. I mean, I could have cut these in half this way. So only like this little bit would have been back there. I could have lengthened them all the way up to here. I could have made them deeper this way. I could have folded them further back out this way. I suggest doing it from end to out. And making it no further out than this, because like whatever the tech is we discussed with you before, you don't want them too far out, or else you're gonna mess with the structural integrity of your outer wing. Um, that all depends on how strong a wing you've got. With this being a variation of the wyvern, the wing fold here comes out to this tip, so it reinforces the tip all the way out to the you know the extreme. Uh, so these are pretty sturdy even out that far. I got a lot of play with this, and I still went with something small. But if you had something where you didn't have a delta diamond coming out, or like you know it terminated out here, and you had a flat area, a la a regular aircraft, um, that might get floppy, and you may not want to have something pushed out. Um, yeah, straightlets is a good thing after looking at it again, over and over again. But um, again, there. Whenever you do cuts of any anything like this, of this nature, um, it, it's up to you as to how big they can go. Um, they're a little different when it comes to like what we showcased before was having the dual fins from the center cut. That's supported by how much rudder you have. And it's also structurally, you, you, can, you can reform the structure. Structurally, there'll be enforced, if you will, by being close to something that already is folded and strong, but you may not need to augment them in any way. Now, the augmentation I'm talking about is, depending on, say, the weight distribution, like Wyvern, I've got a pretty good option here, because Wyvern actually, from here on up, is very sturdy, and all the way out to here, this this is pretty much reinforced in Wyverns. 
And this Wyvern, being the variation it is, doesn't exactly have rifle, but it does. It's just a very broad form. <laughs> so the stability that it has up here, however, and the weight, more importantly, the weight that it has up here, if you feel like these holes that you create from cutting this um, are non-beneficial, you could tape them off if you have enough weight up in the front to counteract that. I, do, I don't recommend it if you have a plane that is well balanced, flies good before you put those on, or even when you put those on, it flies good, and your weight balance is okay. Because if you tape it or plug it up in some way and your weight balance is off, that's going to be the culprit and it'll be really hard to get it back. It's, it's debatable as to how much air passing through there causes the plane to be stable, unstable, what have you. It's only something that you could do by trial and effort to figure out on your own with your designs that you choose to throw these on. Um, a lot of it, again, is going to be the structure. It's going to be how much weight the plane has, what the balance is, and how much, like, any kind of, like, torsional twisting the entire, both wings will have in flight, how much rigidity they would have because of the positioning of these cuts, which is obviously breaking up the trailing edge of your wing, and... Just basic knowledge of your plane, anyway. Uh, you could be thrown on any design, but you got to remember, you know, you have to have a baseline, figure out what it is you're playing with before you put them on. So once you start off with a plane that actually has no straightlets, no fins, no rudder, or, well, you're going to have a rudder, but no fins or no uh, winglets slash anhedrals, if it's not supposed to have them, this could augment or defeat. But again, I, I, just, just something to try because that's what the tech is all about. Give it a try. It can go on any aircraft. They're easy to do. They're small, so they're not they're not going to be ob obtrusive, even on a smaller type plane. And obviously, you can play with any size. Uh, ironically enough, hey Robert, how's it going, man? Good thing you drop. Good thing to see you drop in because I, I got your uh, messages and stuff. And again, we're dipsying with these shows, so we'll see exactly uh, what you think with any show that we've got and so on and so forth and you see my format here um last week's was a little different because this is how i planned it i still haven't tweaked out all the effects yet it's going to look even more different than this just just some things to look forward to um and again multiple shows so giving people chances this one's live uh they won't always be live uh, hell as i said before i didn't anticipate ever being live with the tech talks but it's working out that way so cool um, but I also, getting back to this though, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I'm actually, I knew it was going to be a bitch and I, I apologize. Like the one time you actually were off of late and show enough, Hey, I was off. You guys didn't do a live show. Damn it. Yeah, I know. He's like in and out. Um, he's there. He's probably peeping. I'm not sure. He said he would probably try to jump in, but they haven't had heat all day in the house. And if you know anything about Wisconsin in the wintertime, not a good thing. He's trying to get that. He's trying to get his heat back up to functioning. He had a little bit of a problem. I don't know the deets yet. When I do, you will. Um, yeah. I think we're getting pelted with something other than snow right now because it's hitting my windows. Pellets. You're off tonight, too? Fucking great, dude. That's hot. What, you actually got a weekend? Damn. Yeah, um... Like I said, we're trying to rig it so that it's like a little bit more... The live show at this time obviously is semi-good, I guess, for people here and maybe on the West Coast, or at least further west and to a lesser degree on the East. But again, American time, so we're trying to, like, let's get some pre-recorded shows out there and figure out drop time so that people around the globe can actually watch us a little bit more, you know, pertinent to them. So, yeah, because it's like, I don't know, I think I got home and it was 18... And he's up further north, so it's got to be at least that cold, I would think. But occasionally it gets warmer up there, so I don't know. Yeah, he's... Um, they kind of left him in a bind in that damn house. Seriously, like... I don't know if he got himself into it a little bit, but, like, ran out of propane, so he don't run the regular central heat. So using the wood burner, which is a great source, but if you run out of wood, which he's been doing, they just run out of heat, so this is not a good situation. And I'm sure, like, any family... Any family... Not, 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 you know, anybody who's a real nice person versus a real witch is going to be like, 
dude, we just can't be all wrapped up in blankets freezing to death while you get the heat working. Get the damn heat working. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I feel him. I mean, you're going to have problems. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, burn some planes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I feel him. Um, so anyway, format. Yeah, this is what our format's like hoping to be. I don't know, like, like I said, I want to get more shows on the channel, and um, I wanted to make this like uh, it Tech Talk is supposed to be a shorter show than like what Paper Aircraft Weekly is again, because Paper Aircraft Weekly is going to be the uh, flagship. And on that note, I've got it. On that note, you know what's really funny? Let <laughs> me get off on my own little tangent. Is like I sit here with all my pens and looking for paper and paper I got to build planes, and like I want to take notes, and it's like. I'm sitting here in front of a keyboard with screens. I can take notes digitally. I don't have to waste pen, paper, ink. But if I waste paper, I'm building paper planes. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Ben, well, Ben's... Ben, excuse me. Y13, Ben. Yeah, he's been infrequent too. So I, I've, I've, I think he sent a message to me direct and we talked back and forth a couple times. But yeah, he just, just apparently not like on during the shows. I think his shift changed. So, it's like, depending on the timing as to when he drops his comment. So, yeah, you're right. But, and like I said, you, I don't know if you caught the beginning of it. I, I did get in touch with OAE. Um, OAE's still out there doing, he's doing okay. Just, like, a little bit of life. Uh, he got the, he got the sickness, like, apparently all of us have caught. So, he's over it now. Um, and, like, no plain news on his front just because for the first time in probably his freaking history, his lineup is steady. So he's like, I, I mean, I'm happy with the current design. So, and again, which is, I mean, I don't know. I, I'd like to think that's because of our influence a little bit, if, if only a little bit. But I'd like to think that, again, it's like, well, we got squadrons, you got bases. You should have, it doesn't matter what you have. doesn't matter what you do. But it's nice to have a core group that is stable while you experiment with a whole bunch of others, no matter what they are. And then play around and like, oh, I like this one better. Swap it out. You know, something like that. So, which is what he's been doing. But now, uh, like I said, he's happy with what he's got. It's a little bit more stable. So his core group is knotted up. And maybe life is kind of like cut into that experimental stage. But he's still working a little bit. So it just hasn't been enough to knock off other aircraft. I like that. <laughs> I guarantee. Well, no, he does. But now, hey, remember when he kept appearing? He kept saying like school. We gotta go back to school and stuff like that. Maybe he actually is in school now. I don't know. But also with these show changes, I don't know how it's gonna affect him either. So, um, I can't remember. I think we set yesterday's show to drop at like 10 a.m. Our, our U.S. Central Time, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna change that. One of the things I wanted to talk to Nas about tonight, um, I was gonna text him on it, and then I'm gonna show him on the show. I was gonna do that. Um, I think it's going to be more of like we gotta we gotta match up with the rest of the globe, so we're probably going to make it a UTC time, so everybody understands it a little better. Because if you don't know UTC time, I'm looking at you, you lazy Americans. Yeah, you got to you got to get with UTC time, and once we get with UTC time, then we'll know. Then we'll then we'll be straight. Then we'll know exactly. My God, I'm not going to have this right because there's no freaking. Ah, I'll fix that later on. Um. I was just thinking about my ending and stuff. Anyway, um, we're going to switch off to that, and then we'll have the shows in general. Um, Robert, I, I want to somehow get, I don't know. i have given this some thought, and I'll get what you more on the messaging, okay? Um, like, I hope you don't think that I've forgotten about all the stuff we've talked about in the past. Like, you wanted the pictures and crap like that, and I've thought about it, and like, yeah, I can get you the pictures, but remember, it's like, 5,000 pictures. I mean, it, it's not really that many. I think it's like 2,000. It's still a lot of pictures. So, but you have access to the account. So, getting it's not exactly a, a tangent, but we're getting off, off the tech talk. But anyway, um, so if you have access, most of our pictures are uploaded there. It's not just mine. It's not just anybody's. All of our contractors have the pictures in there. So, just like the best way for you to get them is just to access through the account to do that. Um, or at least, like, if not shared, get in. Um, I can re-illustrate you that with the messengering, but I also, again, like we talked about having this, this tech talk, I want everybody to be able to put in something. If you've got a tech idea to put it on our channel here, not as, just as well as your channel, because you need to have your channels up as well as our channel up. Um, 
and I'd like just we need to make sure you have access to be able to put stuff on this channel. If you want to um, use some of the stuff, like I gave two or three or four of the contractors already um, the Tech Talk intro, so if you can do one, I can send you it so you have the same one because I'd like to keep that uniform amongst the things in the channel, at least that. How you do like my layout here, this is my choice, it's still going to change. How you do your layout, totally up to you. Um, I just want it to look this way when I do it, so <laughs> at least like this until we go to a two-person, three-person, five-person layout. Um, yeah, and I thought about that. It was like we get to be more people. It's like holy crap, man. I hope it's gonna it's gonna end up almost having to be like something like Twitch, where I'm not showing my damn face and a little icon over here go, hey, what's up? This funny, <laughs> you know, with headphones on, like every stupid ass 14 year old to 24 year old out there. But I want something better than that, you know. He took down the paper. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I know. It is kind of strange, isn't it? it? It's like you get talked to and you get a lot more of that when you're right, when you're not on there. I don't understand that either. I've seen that too. It's like, so I get more hits when we're not live? I mean, yeah, okay, it could be the timing. Well, not live, but like other things. Like you said, you don't post up, people come in. I don't know. It's maybe just to see like, what's he been doing? You know, like like OEs and stuff. Like It is, it is really strange. Um yeah, I, I, I'm not going to pretend I know exactly what's going on there or why it's going on, but whatever the case. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I mean, I can send you that. You can have the clip. I said all of us seem to have the clip. Anybody could put it on, and that way anybody really can put it on. Hey, this is this is, this powerhouse. This is this this is sealed, whatever. And the, the, today's tech talk will be that. That's how I'm looking at it. You know, I want something like that. And same thing as like your flight videos and. I want to be able to, like, obviously, you got to put them on your own channel, but I want to have something, like, if, if, if PEC members get a little flights, get a little builds, get a little, like, tech like this on the channel. So, um, I'm just, just trying to make it, you know, available. So, like I said, the uniformity is basically just the start of the show. After that, who cares how it looks? And so is your planes, you know. So, I was, like I said, talking about these, um, Yavol. Uh, we're getting it. What the hell? Why is it doing that? Ooh. That's some strange alright of crap right there. Okay, not gonna not gonna bother with that. I was just looking to see exactly how we looked on the other side there, so it's coming out pretty good. I know, but I uh, just don't like to have it go that way. Well again, how in the hell? How in the hell does somebody like, like, like we were talking about this on the show, is like, okay, Abby is talk, it told us, like, and you said it too, of course, but, like, do thumbs, crap like that. Okay, you can do thumbs, that's fine. But he's got no thumbs, been here, like, less than 15 minutes. How the hell is he getting the hits that he's getting? You know what I mean? He's getting more hits than you either. Like, subs and hits are, like, crazy. And he's talking about... Like, practically nothing. You know what I mean? Like, how in the hell? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But whatever. You know, maybe it's not mine to understand. So, whatever the case may be. I, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to know how it's happening. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, these, these um, like, these new shows, I'm really hoping... What the hell is going on? When you said, just out of curiosity, Rob, when you said, like, it doesn't do the channel, do you mean, like, Abby's gone? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just, okay, got you. No. He's apparently the Undertaker now. <laughs> but see, he's a poppy now. See how he's doing that. Man, remember we talked about wrestling or something? Well, I know, but, like, dude. A, I want it to be unique, and, like, that's why we changed the paper air core for that reason, so at least you could find it somehow like that. But you notice on every every so often in the channel, we talk about why it is. Like, me and Mark will go back through and say, like, okay, so what the hell is going on? Why is it... Why has it disappeared, you know? Or why don't we come up like that? I mean, is it literally because we're paying? 
or we're not paying rather, because seriously, we put paper airplanes in there. It's not like it's not, the, the channel is paper airplane core. I mean, granted, yeah, you can't find it by IFPAC. You look, you do web search on IFPAC, at least thank God the Facebook page shows up. And that can lead you everywhere. So that's like the hub. I hate that, but at least it is. But again, you got a paper airplane in the freaking title. Is Again, search string, search for any words. If you found that, why don't you find us? I mean, come on, man. It should at least be in the top 50. Jesus. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, like, I'm not going to pay for SEO yeah, but, so, yeah, but you, again, you got rid of Taper, okay, right, but, A, you still use the last name in there, it's a little bit weird, and then, it's one word, does that make it easier? You just, you don't even bother with spaces? I mean, is that what we're doing wrong? And even still, it's like, okay, well then, shouldn't the tags have something like that? I'm not going to title, I don't know, why are we getting into that? Ah! This is kind of tech, but the wrong kind of tech. So I guess maybe stick with us. This is tech, people. <laughs> I just don't get why that's like... I mean, it feels to me like the tags aren't as important, even though people tell me they are. And it's like, okay, well, I throw every variation of stupidity in the tags and hope that it, like, you catch a flinch. You know, like, I don't know if you've seen it on there, but, like, when you look up the tags, we got all kinds of crap. I put hobby. I put outdoors. I mean, dude, how... <laughs> How is any one of those not a ping? I mean, I get it. With ours, it's probably the ping down there in like 1100. Fuck, I don't know where it is down the line, but it's down the line. Um, but it's to make, it's to maximize its options and potential. So, you know. And again, yeah, I know, we got to capture some shorts. I've got those in the making. I just, uh, uh, I'm just going to edit some videos, put some black bars on either side and say, hey, here's my short. And make it, you know, 12 seconds long. Because that, that's apparently the attention span for everybody. See, because that's part of the problem, isn't it? Here we are doing a show that's going on 27 minutes, 20, or half an hour. And it's like, well, we lost everybody because their attention spans already turned to something else. Like lint driving across, or an ant crawling across the screen. Now, I don't know where y'all at, you know. But, and again, I'm also trying to make this more globe friendly and failing miserably. Because what we should have on hand is like... Okay, we always talk inches because here we are, lazy, dumbass Americans, and like, yeah, this is, uh, you know, six inches long. What? How the hell somebody from India, Britain, Japan, China, Korea, Saudi Arabia are going to know what inches are? <laughs> they don't know inches. They might know English. They don't know inches. I mean, yes, they have the same internet we do, so they can just type it up, but I'd rather be able to say, yeah, it's 37 centimeters long. I think that's wrong. Um... God, I hate America for like not doing a metric system. The whole rest of the freaking world. The whole rest of the world. Yeah, metric. Because it only makes sense. Not us, man. No, we can't do that because America. Man, seriously, what's wrong with this country? Where do we begin? I don't know. Is this, I don't even, what is centimeters? Is six inches 12 centimeters? Help me out, people. What centimeters? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 15 centimeters. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, my God. I need so much kind of help. Uh, so if it is, absolutely none of this motherfucker tells me centimeters. Now, does it? Well, it should be 15 centimeters long if it's six inches, unless these aren't inches. If these aren't inches, I don't want to play with you no more. That's inches, so I don't know what the hell is going down. Should I go with millimeters? Is millimeters better for our playing style than at centimeters? Is, is that a better option? Oh, my God. We're talking in the hundreds now. Well, I don't do that either. So, anyway, yeah, whatever. Um, but that's something also, like I said, I want, I'm going to be conscious of and try to do. Like, we need to make sure we're a little bit more metric for people. That's all. America's like number nine, dude. I swear to God, dude. There are like so many other people. Number one for some reasons, but we're so... Sh yeah, number one in gun crime. I mean, good God. Like, is that to be proud of? You know the whole reason why? Number one in gun crime. Yeah. That, I mean, but then again, hell, maybe we're getting it right. You kill more of us and we we'll don't have to worry about the rest of us. So, you know. Go on, people. Go and kill yourselves. Um... I mean, I, I don't know what that's all about. 
I'm not even going to try to figure it out. I had this crazy idea. I'm going to post it somewhere else. I'm not going to say it here. Uh, just because. I got this crazy idea. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll probably put it on my next plane. But <laughs> I'm going to probably put up some more videos of the bottle rockets launching from planes. Because people seem to like destruction and shooting and crap. <gasps> oh, my God. Dude, videos. All right. I know what I'm doing right after this. I got to post up a video that you guys have not seen yet. Uh, some rocket launches. Um, these were from actually a little while ago, but also I got to get with you guys because I got to build some of y'all's planes because, okay, Robert, you ran out, of, you kind of run out of time because you work like 24, 7, 365 right now. Um, or at least it feels like it. Okay. Maybe you work 14, 7, 365 minus these two days, but I need to be able to build y'all's planes so I can fly y'all's planes so I can get pictures because, okay, Rob, you, you've been doing okay. I take it back. Other than working lately. You've been putting up some pretty cool videos, obviously, so it works out. Pictures, though, man. Pictures. We need some pictures. I like in-flight pictures. You've got, like, three. <laughs> I need more than that. You talk about getting some of mine. That's cool. I mean, I've got a wide library. But I'm obviously going to have to build a lot of OAEs, a lot of NASAs, a lot of KIAs if I want pictures in-flight because ain't none of y'all, like, contributing here. So we need some... I, I need, I need, I, I, I hate doing that. Like, I, it's not like I don't mind building your planes, and I understand why. Like, you put how to build. I only put the how to builds because I get asked. I'm not going to say, like, yeah, you guys need to build this. I will never do that because I want you to have your own ideas. Um, hopefully, you like the tech talk, you get the ideas from us. Um, but it's a matter of. I, I, I just want, like, to be able to see what y'alls are like, too. And especially, I keep saying, uh, people build different ways and people fly different ways. I mean, I've seen it firsthand. So what you build, even if you build mine, and you've seen Abby's video of Cirrus, it didn't look like mine at all. It flies really good. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. It does look like mine. But it, it's a different take on it. You know what I mean? And that's what I look forward to. Like, I want to see everybody's take on it. And then I want to see how y'all throw it. So, I mean, I'm anxious, but I'm not going to say, like, you need to do it. Do it now or else your dog dies. I don't know what what kind of grief people give you for not doing that crap. But um, but also, like, I myself, like, I understand, like, especially for members. Apparently, to get good shots or get good video, i got to build it myself. But I've got my own planes to take care of. So it's really hard. It's not a matter of not wanting to build it or whatever. It's like... You've seen, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here talking about planes I got rolling out and planes I got retiring and so on and so forth. So I got to worry about individual aircraft. And I, I can't really, I mean, like, once I got an idea, it's like I want to plug that idea onto this. So I just don't get, I get involved in mine. Just like you guys get involved in yours. So it's like I didn't have any time to build yours, you know. It involved them for tape cut. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. I look forward to that. I mean, yeah. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. It's just a matter of getting my how to build video spectacular, okay? I want these things good, and I've got to, like, I mean, I'm so close. Something like this is kind of a preview of how you're going to see it, you know? Like, you see the way this layout is. I want it to be like this. This, this, this one's going to be crappy because I failed to really get the production into it, but... Um, this is just one of the ways I wanted to do it. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean a half a mile away? Did you measure that? Did you measure that? You know, I got like one of those uh, uh, measuring wheels that I almost usually, you probably, see, I don't well, I don't know if I posted the pictures, but occasionally I'll throw a picture in there. And you see a picture, the picture is actually of like, the hell is that? What is that? Did, what? Downloads image. What? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to look this up because. What is that? Okay, so what? What? Well, I've got this one image that the service is trying to tell me it doesn't have. So, I obviously don't have it anymore, but I'm trying to figure out exactly what that picture was. And that's if I know. Anyway, what I was getting at, though, like, if you've seen some of my shots, and it's not always, I don't know if I've shared it before, but there's a shot I've got that I bring out 
funny tangent I was going on about this. I bring out a wheel. So, like, on the longest flights, you can always have something present to tell, like, how the longer flights go. You bring out the wheel. You can't just have a freaking uh, uh, tape measure. Sometimes, a lot of times, well, I don't know about yours, but my planes go way farther than that. So, I need something stronger than a tape measure. Um, well, it's not that one. But I'm just trying to see, like, is there a picture I thought I might have shared in the past with you guys of me taking out the wheel because the wheel usually comes along in some cases to the flight so that I can measure how far the planes go. And I'm also, I'm like, okay, the half mile thing, yeah, but I'm just skeptical. It's like, dude, how the hell do you get a helicopter? A helicopter now to go that far unpowered. I mean, the kind of helicopters I picture, wait, have you shown these helicopters? Forgive me if I act stupid, but have you shown these helicopters? Are they the ones in like the or one? I can't remember. You had them before, but are they the ones in the video from a little ways back? Because I'm trying to think of a case where I'd have seen. Because um, again, like I got a mental shot of the, like the kind of helicopters you get out of other books and stuff like that, and I'm thinking like, dude. There's no way in hell any helicopter that I would picture, like even OAEs that, that I've showed pictures of, um, they ain't going that far. There's no, like no way, barring putting a battery powered motor on them, they're going to go <laughs> that far. Yeah, even, I, dude, I have to admit, I'm trying to think like rubber band power? Seriously, how can you launch them and expect them to go that far? And still keep like, okay, mind you, I'm also thinking of keeping the blades rotary. If you keep it cylinder rotary where they tumble, okay, yeah, maybe. But, like, simply spinning, I mean, dude, it's just going to come up and go down. And, again, by virtue of the design, when you think of helicopter, even when you think of realistic helicopters, yes, of course, real-life helicopters do fly directionally. But in our case, we don't need that crap. That's a diesel floor. It's not like we're carrying troops. So I'm just I'm trying to think of, like, it's one of the reasons why I think NASA's over there, who was going to be my boy with, with the, the helicopters, kind of stalled out on it because it's like, after about seven or eight designs, you're kind of like, yeah, you got to be up high, you drop them, copters. I mean, unless you got like an apartment building two, three, four stories, or a house is two stories, what well, you need one for? I mean, if you want to be in charge because you got helicopters that work, cool. The single blade, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, then I know. Yeah, then, all right. It is the one I'm thinking of that I saw. Okay. Um, and, yeah, but that's why I'm like, okay. Uh, like, man, dude, that's, that's like, wild, wild, like, freaking wild. No. No. It, oh, man. I'm, like, when I leave you guys after this show, it's going to look so stupid because I have nothing ready. I realize I got nothing ready. I geared this thing up for... Nothing, nothing. Um, I'm gonna drop away into oblivion. I, I and I apologize for that because this is too, 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 too stupid. Um, too stupid for words. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little something, something here because I can for whatever freaking reason. I, I, I don't know why it's come to this. Um, bear with me. I, I'm I, concentrating on something a little less stupid than I normally do. Trying not to... What the hell? Can I see that? Oh, okay. I enlarged it. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's pretty freaking small. All right. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, um, okay, I prepped it so at least I don't look like an idiot. Yeah, um, so anyway, um, the tech, the tech, hold on, let me get a little bit on topic here, so. <laughs> I believe it, I believe it. Please do, yeah, please do, I want to see a video of it. <laughs> hey man, look, I'm telling you right now, I got like a box full, and I'm not even kidding. I got a, if I can move the camera and hopefully get it back to the same place, I would, but I got a box full of planes you could burn. And I'm not even talking, I'm talking a box, I'm talking, you can't see my hands. I'm talking a box. It's not like my pad, my pad 
is actually not full because I actually have some shoot down drones in the pad. But I got, you know one of those banker boxes is supposed to keep your file folders? Yeah, you guys know, banker boxes. There you go. Because that's a, it's got it on the side called a banker's box. That is full of aircraft right now that is to be gone to the smelters. Um, so if you want to burn that, including the banker's box, so you can stay warm, you go right ahead. Throw some of yours in there. You know what helps burn it, really? You take a, you take a, um, a paper towel tube, with or without the paper towels, stuff it full of toilet paper, and then light that shit. That shit burns. It burns quick. It burns. It starts instantly, and, and like it's like a log. <laughs> I highly recommend it if you want to get a fire going. You think everything else is like, man, what am I gonna use? Gasoline, lighter fluid. Yeah, no, no, you don't need none of that. Go stick you a paper towel tube with a couple of paper towels on it with some toilet paper in the middle because toilet paper goes up like that, and and the tube itself hold the heat. And you, I mean, like this is a great piece of kindling. Instant kindling is what I call it. Dude, when I was like 10, that's how I built my first rockets. I don't know if y'all noticed, but like one of, I don't have it listed anymore, but the experimental rockets I had, that's what I used to use. I used to put like five toilet tubes together, tape them up, put matches where the tape was. That was the stage. Wad up like I don't even know how much toilet paper all down the cylinder and burn it at the bottom. That, that shit went up, went up. I mean, the rocket didn't launch for shit, but it looked cool when it burned. Dry lit works too. I just can't get a lot of it. I mean, you know, like I, I probably could burn that shit, but you know, whatever. You're <laughs> getting to move to Georgia. He didn't want to talk about every time it took it to get to the cold. He's like, I can't stand this cold, man. It's cold. I can't stand this cold. Try Charlotte. You could be close to John. That way, because Jim, Jim is in Charlotte. And Charlotte is, what, three hours away from Atlanta? I mean, because you really just pass through the mountains. You're passing through the small part of everything right there. Charlotte's not a bad place. Uh, my biggest pro like I said, my biggest problem is the Eastern Time Zone. I hate Eastern Time, dude. I hate it. 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 I don't ever, don't ever want to go back there. Um, I mean, there's there's parts about it I like, but like winters. I like winters in the, in the South. That's about it. I would literally be the anti-snowbird, kind of. Like, it'd be like, well, I don't, don't want to go there to get away from snow, but I want to go there because, like, wintertime is the only time the south is bearable. But, like, once it starts hitting 90 in fucking March, nope, I'm fucking done. Done. It's like, happy birthday to me. I'm leaving this hellhole. I hate it down there. Oh, man, I hate how early it is. I hate how, I, I hate it. There's, like, nothing, like, don't get me wrong, I'd probably hate Maine, too, but... Because that's even worse than be that Dude, that's... I can't imagine living in Maine, personally. Seriously. I mean, you think it's cold here. I don't think Maine's all that cold. It's just so fucking north and so fucking early. It's like... I understand why they wanted to be on Atlantic time. Because they're so far east of everybody else in the U.S. And then they're so far north. Because they're the northernmost state of the continental U.S. So it's like they get even less daylight <laughs> than we do. No wonder they want to be on Atlantic Times. Like, I got to get more light somehow, you know, so. It really doesn't get that hot. Where the hell in Georgia have you been? I've lived in Georgia more than once, actually. And I've seen temperatures. I keep track of temperatures over there. What do you mean it don't get that hot? It don't get that hot in the air conditioning? Yeah. I mean, my God, it gets that hot here. We broach 90 on a regular basis. And let me tell you how hot 90 feels when you get used to zero. I mean, like, it's one thing when you're in the south and the coldest you get is usually 30. So when you get to 90, it's a 60 degree difference. But when it gets to 90 here and it's you've already spent time in the zeros, I mean, my freaking God, 70 degrees is goddamn unbearable. It's like I said, 60, that's why y'all make jokes about us, like Wisconsinites, like, oh, 60 degrees? It's time for a wife beater, shorts, and flip-flops, because that shit ain't no joke, man. Again, if you in zeros, 60 degrees ain't shit. That's a heat wave. And 70, it's like, I'll be on the porch with ice cubes on my chest, sipping a Mai Tai, because it's, that's hot. That's hot. That's unbearably hot. 
No, I man, like I said, some one of my relatives, like a couple of my relatives, just got back from Miami. I'm like, you will never, ever, ever be able to get me to go back down there, ever. There's just no fucking chance. You would have to like kidnap my ass, put me in the hold of an aircraft, blindfold me, not tell me where we're going. I mean, what a kid, well, kidnapping? <laughs> but seriously, that's the only way you get my ass down there. I ain't going back there ever again. That shit. Oh my god, that's got to be punishment for like the worst evils on earth. I, I can't imagine. Even the desert's probably better than fucking Miami. Actually, I can I can vouch for that. The desert is better than fucking Miami. Been to both places. Would much rather go to the desert. Shit, I think the scenery's better than fucking that. Like, not air I can swim in. Screw that crap. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Yep. No, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we... Dude. Robert, I gotta ask you a opinion question, okay? About this tapering, obviously, right? I know you said you'd build three of ours or whatever, and you built one of his. Um, you could build one of mine. You know, I got the how to builds up there on a couple of them, and snuck in on a couple of the shows. But this plane, for example, this plane right here, okay? You build blended bodies, you build flying wings, shit like that, and they actually kind of rounded. Do you see the harm, or like, do you see a fallback, something negative about tapering these? I mean, because, like, I, it might just be us not being able to break out of that frame of mind. But, I mean, I can see why tapering what you build, you know, like, completely. It's like a it's like a plane. I mean, it's like a really a freaking model plane. I get it. Tapering that makes total fucking sense to me. But this, uh, it's one of the, again, it's a frame of mind I can't break. I just don't see the benefits. It, sure, it'd probably fly better. But, I mean, like, is the weight distribution going to be the same? I mean, we're talking about, we fold, and it's got a, you know, like, it, it's a fold, it, it's, it's like angles. Yours is rounded. Like I said, you're building practically a model of a plane. We're building origami aircraft, and, and I just, that's what I mean. And, and again, I'm sorry, it could be a frame of mind. It's just, I don't see getting the same results you get, because I, I get worried about that. I mean, sure, it could probably fly. I wouldn't doubt the fact that if we either, A, rubber band launched it or just threw it, when we tapered it, it launched and probably add 50 to 100 yards onto the flight. It's just, is that all it's going to do? Is it even? It, is it going to bank anymore? Is it going to be gentle? Is it going to glide? Because adding that weight without any, like, glideability, I mean, this plane right here, I just taper this, right? Okay, so there's all that weight. No guarantee it's going to be equally distributed. And then I, I, I just, like, because a lot of yours fly a variation of straight. They just kind of, like, you know, flare, they look really, really good. But still, it's just like one kind of flight. There's no stunting to them. You know what I mean? So, I'm, I'm picturing these doing the same kind of thing. And probably not as good because they don't have that body design. So, you had to refresh because we were just gone. <laughs> it's how you apply it. Okay. Well, like, I mean... Maybe strip it, right? Do you like... Well, uh, see, here we go again with that. Something like... Because I'm picturing the, the tech... It's not exactly... It's a tech. It's a tech, but... So I'm picturing, like, you apply a tape like this. For example, I would do something like, I'm just going to apply a strip and then cut it around the plane. A on this thing, you know? Because I don't see... If I had that, I'm going to, like, apply a tape. Start it here, put it here, fold it, and then it ends up going this way. I wouldn't want to do that. I would literally take strips... And then cut them off the edges. They're not needed. I have maybe some reinforcement there, but I don't see the point. But see, that's what I'm saying. Is like we're we're dealing with a different animal here. I gotta like did you? That's another part of it. That one that you built of NASA's, which we never really agreed on. NASA, Mark, you thought it was like a, a vortex, maybe Viper. I don't know. Um, the red one though. And I'm just I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, uh, I don't know, Robert. Did you do a how to build? Because I'm just trying to see, like, is that what would happen? I mean, it's not like a matter of, with well, something that's a flying wing style. I mean, not that all of yours are. I mean, none of them really are. You've got some fins and stuff like that. But they're rounded, so I can see applying it and kind of like, you go here, you put it on, and you keep flipping, and you could do it right. But see, if I work angles like this, I'm going to end up with tape over here, and it's going to cut back over here, and I'm going to have an edge over here. I'm going to have to figure out how to cut compound. And I'm like, it's probably just better applied in strips. Especially for weight balance, because, I mean, it's like, got no end. There we go, taped. It'd be nice to find a 
piece of tape. <gasps> I got rolls that big at work. I'm going to have to steal five. I mean, like, they're, you know, they're, your standard rolls, like, what, two and a quarter inches? I got some four inch rolls of tape at work that we got by mistake. Might have to get those because I could probably do a single wing in one pass. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, right. Okay. That, and that's kind of what I figured. That's kind of what I figured. And yeah, I'd like to see the how to build on that because I'd like to, I mean, on these, uh, yours is a little bit easier to explain when you've got the, the blended, the, the the body of the flying wing and shit. But when it's folded again, that's what's got me concerned. So, and I know I got to crack down and do it. And believe me, a phase three is going to be doing it um, because I've got so many. What else am I going to do with them? But I just want to, like I said, if I, if I taper it, it just turns into another interceptor. I'm like, oh, cool. I can turn any plane into an interceptor instantly by tapering it. And in ways, that's going to be cool. Um, but I got something to look forward to. Mark, are you still burning wood? Are you going to be able to, like, join up? Or can we talk after this? Or what are we doing? Well, I mean, you, yours flattened out, but you still got, like, rounded, especially near the top. You still have, like, a... Um, what are they? It's like a NACA Type 3 airfoil. Almost like a Whitcomb airfoil. I've seen, like, I, well, I've seen the pictures of your planes and I've seen you fly them, so I know that they've got that curve. Um, what the hell did you just do to me? What? You made my shit shrink. Whoa, that was freaking wild. The whole damn thing just went kind of crazy. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. That, 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 that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that was... That's really good, people. You didn't give me a damn thing about it. Can I see some images, please? Oh. Uh, well, how about... How about... That's so freaking stupid. Ugh. <sighs> You can't find what you want on the internet. Hence why you can't find. And that's the way it turned out. Yeah, okay. Well, that's kind of what I figured. Like you said, yours, your, dude, seriously, your videos, if you made videos just like Y13 makes videos about just building them and stuff like that, they would turn out super cool too. I mean, seriously, I, obviously the flight videos are really cool. But you get those going on because, again, you've seen how many video uh, views and shit that you got in the past when you do, like, the how to build, especially even parts. The part one, part two, part, man, that was golden. And I never realized it would be that much, but, you know, ours aren't as complex as you guys. I'd give you a how to build in, like, seven minutes. And you guys need part three, and each one of them is 30 minutes long. It's like episodes. <laughs> but, again, that's what I'm talking about. We need on this channel. We need this shit on this channel. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 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 look. Um, woo, buddy. See? About an hour. How are we getting into this for an hour? This turned out to be one hell of a show. We should have started it earlier. Did you get your wood burning and shit? What did you do to me? And now you're there, and now we're not there. Where the hell are you? I don't even know. No. No. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. So anyway. Yeah, there's that. Um, um. Well, no, yeah, I, I know that. I mean, it's like, I, I, I've seen that, and I've seen ours are comparable. I mean, dude, I've been doing this a long freaking time. I've, you know, and tweaking stuff definitely helps it out. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like, but you know, you know how we are. We're trying to, like, use everything we can. I'm not trying to just be like, I borrow tech from you guys all the damn time. Or even if you don't know it, even if I don't know it. But it's like, if I watch a video, I still see it, and I'm like, Damn, that would be really cool to put on there. Um, I've, I've told you before, and I can, your, you guys' ideas have influenced my planes. And I've told that to others, too. Like, anybody that, like, the IFPAC channel's linked to, there's been a couple when I've wound, wound through them, and it's like, there's quite a few. Who's that one? Uh, 
Tri-Cat Dan G. I don't know exactly how because of the way he abbreviates. I don't know if it's Trike Dang or whatever, but I think he's Malaysian, Indonesian or something. Really cool guy. Really cool planes that he builds. And like two or three of them gave, gave me the ideas from his. I told him that. I was like, Alan, well, thank you for those. Those are some nice flights and stuff. Obviously yours, like, I mean, like some of the way you designed yours, even without the tape, because I haven't tapered them yet, but... Yeah, there's like a couple of things I've seen in yours that I wanted to put online and have put online. OAEs, same way. It's like, it could be minor things. But since I'm a tweaker, every little thing counts on something. So, um, I say I'm a tweaker. It sounds like I'm like drugged out half the damn time. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, well, no, like, I mean, Javelin, <laughs> Javelin's 32 years old, as we talked about on, on last show, but it's like, I've been told more than once that like, I don't. Know, how did you get that? You know, like how is it that it's straight? It's. I mean, it has its issues. I need to put a how to uh, seriously. I need to put a how to build on that puppy out here. See what everybody thinks and see if anybody's got something because, um, uh, yeah, interceptors are kind of boring. But I'd like you to build one because I think actually that's a prime candidate for tapering. But I'd like you to throw it before you taper it to see what you think of it because it's like, again, this plane, dude, throw it as hard as you freaking can. Find a friend who could throw it harder than you and have him throw it. it its distance is only limited by how far you can power it. Uh, again, uh, uh, rubber band launch. I told you we put that on there. I've got a hitch on one now for testing that out. It's just been cold. I haven't got it outside. Um, but same thing. It's only limited by how much power it has. That's it. I mean, a, a power-up going on it would probably help it out. Um, but, I, again, I was thinking, like, it's a 32-year-old design, but I haven't had anything beat it yet, so I that's why it's still inbounds. I mean, I've replaced my strikers. I mean, yeah, the strikers phase. It's still old, but I, other things have gone through the ringer, my stunters, because it's so easy to build a stunter, which turns out to be our close support planes. Those, like, I mean, I've updated those almost, like, on every – five to seven year interval because they're easy to build interceptors are easy to build but it's hard to build one that's unique that's my biggest problem i can turn any freaking plane into an interceptor but it's like this one included it's just well then it's not what the hell have i got there you know what i mean no but um yeah i'd love to i need to get it up there so you can try it because i'd like to see your opinion on it on it because again a lot of people think it's pretty advanced and for a 30 year old airplane i suppose it is but it's also boring because interceptors are boring. You throw it, it goes straight. We, but you'll, I mean, without any accoutrement and without any assistance, you're probably not going to see one that goes that high, that far. I mean, like it's it's all up to your throw. And I don't know if you if you watch a video or Totasan or Blackburn or all of them like get their the throw the 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 position they get themselves in to prep prep for the throw, do the throw. I mean, it's like you got to do some wrenching to get Javelin to do that. I would not put any of my other aircraft through that. You could throw a phase really hard, but that that's truly like a football throw. Javelin's more like a baseball throw with the added, say you're going to throw a baseball straight up as hard as you, like you want to break freaking orbit. Have you seen what they, that's how you throw Javelin. It touches the ground before I launch it, you know what I mean? So... I mean, yeah, and like that, I have an air, I have a rubber band on a stick, which is practically made for that. I think it came with one of my Gillow gliders. Um, I always keep one of those on hand, and uh, yeah, made for the same thing. And just like, yeah, is rubber band launching is a tech people, so I'm not really off topic either. But just just getting that out there. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to make everybody understand. We are not off topic. We are not off topic. We're not off topic. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm letting y'all know. Um, but yeah, like in many ways, I think that's why I want Javelin to be out there. I want to do Lance because I want to see, I want you guys to see where I was at. Even though I guarantee you, you've seen Lance. I guarantee you've seen Lance. You've done Lance. I've done... I made a model of a different one before on online that you saw, I think, was it when I was sick? I don't know, but it's only like a month or two old. And you see now when I was a how to build, 
Um, but Lance isn't no different. Seriously, I didn't do it much different with Lance. I might have because Lance was cooler. But And I use that as an interceptor. And I guarantee you've built it. But it's like Javelin beat. Well, actually, I used Lance. I used Arrow. Then I used Javelin. So I have, I've had, <laughs> I might have had like, I think seven close support aircraft in my history. But I've only had three interceptors. It's gone from Lance to Arrow to Javelin. And Javelin is just, I can't even get Quill to beat it. Quill does the same thing, but Quill doesn't go as far. Mark knows what Quill is. Mark's seen Quill. Mark's seen the prototype. Mark was there for the building of the prototype, what directly led to Quill. So, But anyway, okay, okay look, I did, we just hit an hour. It's Tech Talk. Wasn't kind of wanting to do that. Um, it's been a great show. And I, Mark, uh, Rob, dude, I, I'm sorry. I really don't want to leave you because you actually got a day off. But <laughs> this was supposed. this ain't supposed to be our flagship show. Damn it! Are you gonna have another night off in the in the recent future? Like, is, it, is there gonna be something that's a common occurrence? Which we gotta try to like hook up, make sure like you can get in on the show. Hopefully, you get a mic so we can get you involved. But I can get you the files or at least the tech. So, um, yeah, I mean, dude, I just want to get together and talk planes with you guys. So you know, I'm sure that's what you want too. It's like we're getting into this. Uh, it's all it's always cool. Like. You, for us, it's even worse because we can't get out there and fly. So the only way to keep the creative juices flowing is to talk with like-minded individuals. So Monday and Tuesday, we might just record something that day just so you can get involved in some shit like that, you know? I mean, because again, I, what I was talking about, I want to get some shows on the channel. It's a channel. There's supposed to be shows, okay? So, I mean, we don't have the capacity, the, the audacity, or the t tenacity to actually put out like you know, 50 shows a day, but I want to have something. So, um, yeah, uh, we hit the hour mark. Um, let, let me let me conclude this. I got a couple other things I wanted to get done. Hopefully, Mark, jump on there. Um, Robert, I'll get with you on the thing, and, like, hopefully Facebook Messenger will let me transfer you that. So, like, again, if you want to do the video, you can. It'd be great if you did. Um, and, yeah, so... We did talk tech. Didn't stray off topic too much. I was proud of myself. It almost turned us into a flagship ourselves, but we got an hour. Yes, yes. Um, um, guys, it was it was fun. It was great. I'm I'm glad you came out. It, it was a good show. Th this is me. This is Sil. I'm gonna change this a little bit. Be ready. It's going to be pretty similar to this. But there will be some differences. So anyway, you guys, uh, I thank you for coming out. And um, it's been a thing. We'll see you later. Uh, one of these ways, I'll tell you. Yeah, it, 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 Rob, yeah, it, it was. Thank, Thanks for making the effort. It, it was good to see you back on there. It's nice to know one of us is like healthy, happening, and going on. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully work is settled down. You could be up in here. Um, yeah, get a mic, man. That way we actually can talk. That'd be great. Oh, man, get you on the show would be awesome, dude. Just like getting KIA and Missile and all that and Gent on there. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to some good times. So, um, yeah, so um, I look forward to the videos. I'll try to get some out there and look forward to the changes. Look for the changes and uh, keep that tech building, people.